I'm Dan. I'm Vinny. I'm Shane. I'm Chris. We're Excalibur. Beautiful, guys. Thanks for joining us tonight. Right. Thanks for having us. Wait, so Excalibur this weekend are opening up for the World is a Vampire Festival. So how are you feeling about it? Yeah, we're pretty stoked to uh, be uh, be on the bill with these with these dudes. We've been grown up with them and had their posters on our wall. So we're you know we're pumped to be part of it. Well, they're iconic bands, man. So it's uh, you know I know we're just opening up, but shit. Not bad, not bad being on that bill. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, no. Being in our town. Yeah, that's yeah. true too. Right, what, what does something like this mean to you as a band? Like, is it is it a bit of fun? Is it a learning experience? Is it more? Like, what, what does it mean? Yeah, I, I think at this point, it's it's all about fun, about having yeah. fun and brotherhood, and you know, just enjoying the moments. So um, you got to live for it. Yeah, and the two headliners, of course, are the Smashing Pumpkins and Jane's Addiction. So, who are you guys bigger fans of? <laughs> Me personally, I'm James. James. Yeah, yeah. James. James. Well, Jane, are you unanimous, Jane. But still, I mean, you can't, you can't deny a couple of the pumpkins. Yeah, they're songs, a great so. band. Smashing oh, Pumpkins are a great band, though. Geez. They're a tight unit. They are. Well, I had the pleasure of being at um, both shows in Brisbane this last weekend. Gone, and and firstly, it was great to see how many people showed up early to support the opening local band. So. Oh, well, that's that's, that's a get positive. <laughs> that, that is so, a positive. <laughs> we we <laughs> should have about off. fifty people there. <laughs> I should. I think there was probably about would have been about one hundred and twenty the first day, and probably about one hundred and sixty, one hundred and eighty the second day. So, uh, too bad. It's good. It wasn't too bad at all. Did, so to, to go uh, with those two <laughs> headliners, guys. There's also a great Aussie contingent of Red Hook, Gamma on the Sniffers, and Battlesnake. So, have you played with any of those guys? Yeah. No, we haven't. Um, no, we haven't. I haven't really heard much about them, but I heard some of their tracks during the week. They're cool bands. Yeah. yeah they all a really good show on the weekend. Like I've seen Red Hook and uh, Ammo before, but I'd never heard of Battlesnake, but those guys are going to blow your mind. They like they look like Monty Python, Life of Brian Rejects. When they get up on stage, where well, they got the whole fucking priest sort of out. Really? They, they are insane looking, really nice guys, and their music is fucking awesome. So... Yeah, let, let us know what you think of them after the weekend. Oh, awesome. That's something to look forward to. Yeah, for sure. And, oh, and brilliant. Sure, right? Looking forward to it. Okay, so along those lines, guys, like, how good is it to see so many Australian bands on a festival lineup like this? Now, like, normally they come over and you've got the choking one or two Aussie bands, but aside from the two headlines, yeah. everything else is Australian. Well, I think it's a great idea, really, yeah. you know, to showcase, showcase some of the local talent. Um, you know, and it's amazing. These days, I mean, they really are... Uh, I'm not even a, a part of the scene lately. It's been interesting, some of the different sort of genres and what have you. So, I mean, again, I haven't seen Battlesnake. Um, I haven't seen some of those bands, but it's good to just sort of mix it up a bit, I reckon. Yeah, it's good to promote yeah. supporting their local Aussie music. So. And there's some kick up Australian bands. So oh, well, yeah. Yeah. Aussie music, the best in the world, boys, as they say. <laughs> right. You've also got the uh, the wrestling side of things too, guys. So are any of you guys wrestling fans? <laughs> Used to be when I was young. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll check them out on the weekend, though. We'll be sure yeah. to hang around. I'm actually, I'm actually looking forward to it. Yeah, see some live rest. It's been, that'd be awesome. Fucking okay, will be. Well, we're on the street. We'll bring the natural, natural Dibley, uh, masks on. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's my next question. Like, word on the street is there's going to be an Aussie band battle cage death match. So, who out of your band are you going to choose to represent? Galiba. We'll, we'll put Benny. He's probably the fifth. <laughs> uh, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know about yeah. that. I reckon I'll nominate Shane. He's a bit crazier yeah. than I am. He's got some, he's got slightly, yeah. slightly looser than that. <laughs> <laughs> Chris has got the calves, the kicks. Yeah. So you know, it's, we'll, we'll probably all uh, we'll tag team him. Our range is it. Well, here's, um, here's a bit of a test for you guys. Like, yeah. We did some uh, backstage interviews on the weekend, and I asked the bands this, and I've been asking every band playing this question. So. Using your song title, like your own song titles only, give me the name of your wrestling character, your signature move, and your kick ass finishing move. Oh my God. Uh, I'm my own Can you repeat that? Like, so using the oh, name of your own song great. titles, give me the name of your wrestling character, his signature move, and your your kick ass finishing move. Okay. Go, you can go first. Or oh, shit, probably superhero is the most <laughs> obvious one we could probably think of as a character. Even though I know it's not specifically a name, it was the no sensei. No, no sensei. Oh, and then, and then, no sensei could be the move. Oh, yeah. Kick ass move could be the no cigar. Oh, yeah, lean back. Yes. No but, cigar. Uh, there you go. No cigar. Nice. Oh, so no cigar. And so, what was what was the last one then? So, 
Superhero is the name, the signature move, and then oh, a finishing you, move. I oh, know you scream finishing, don't you? Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. I think, I think no say then. That's our call. All right. <laughs> <laughs> nice. well, I'm, I'm asking these questions because I'm hoping people will check out these songs of you guys so they get to know a bit more about you. So, no, absolutely, <laughs> no, man. Clever. No, Very right. clever. Now, I'm sure there's going to be a couple of people there this weekend who haven't heard of Excalibur before. So, briefly introduce us to the band or to those people and tell them what they can expect from your live show. Um, well, yeah, you're just going to expect an action packed and full of energy show. I mean, it's a quick set, so we're just going to blast it out and um, you know, hopefully leave them one or more after that. But it's um, yeah, it's just full of energy. It's still, you know, basically we. I mean, look, we're all sort of, I mean, I suppose from all other bands and what have you, we started this project a few years back. And um, so we come from a sort of hard rock background. So it's still got, you know, we have a few melodic songs, but we're still pretty energetic and, yeah. and heavy. So we've got the electronic to, to pull it yeah, behind us. So, so. And you guys released your debut EP, EP1 via X Music recently too. So tell us a bit more about the EP. EP's got uh, all the tracks we're playing on the weekend. Um, so we've dropped a few singles before that and, and uh, we may have uh, the next one coming soon with uh, number two. So, um, yeah, get out and get that EP. It's got it's got all your favourites on there and, um, yeah, we've uh, got some lyric videos to, to attach to them too so you can have some visual entertainment. Yeah, so uh, EP2 will come out soon too again at the moment because we've been working on lots of tracks, so... The whole thing's been in the pipeline for a while. Yeah, so it's, it's, been, not, it's like a Star yeah, Wars yeah. trilogy that's going to start. <laughs> oh, nice. Star Wars it starts from the start. Yeah, yeah. But is, is every EP going to be like the same sonically or is it going to explore different territories? Uh, I'd like to. I definitely think that especially a lot of new stuff is exploring different territories, yeah. but I suppose it's part of the process. We'll just see if we can develop it each as each number comes <laughs> up. Yeah. yeah, but definitely what we're writing now is, yeah, very... It's it's interesting. We're pushing it a bit now, so yeah. it'll be interesting. Yeah. <laughs> and are you allowed to tell us what time you guys are on this weekend, so people can make sure they get there in time to see you? Three thirty in the afternoon, I believe. And that's the is Melbourne it? show, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, yeah. And think, have you got that info, Chris? I think it's three 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 forty five. Three forty five. Maybe three forty five. I'll say three thirty. So I'll say three thirty. Okay. Three thirty. They definitely won't miss it. That's it. We'll have a long intro. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, boys. Well, enjoy yourselves there this weekend. Hope my, my no use will kick ass. So let us know how you went.